chapter 16, the special journals uh, for the sales and the cash receipts. So now we're going to be doing a special journals. Uh, we're not going to do the general journal here in this chapter. Uh, we're going to have two things. We're going to be doing the sales and the cash receipts. So when we sell uh, by, and we don't get the money in advance, uh, we're going to get it later. We use a sales journal. And if we get the cash or when somebody pays us, we use the cash journal. So just this is, this chapter has two sections, by the way, from the name of the chapter, the sales journal and the cash receipt journal. Okay, so there are going to be two journals here. The first one uh, is going to look like this. <clears throat> it has uh, the title sales journals uh, in it. They have, they have the date, uh, the customer account uh, debited, which account is going to be debited. And remember, uh, you're selling. So, uh, so you're going to be receiving money from that person. Uh, how much did you sell them? Okay. Uh, they need to pay tax. Okay. So tax payable has to be paid by them. And also the account receivable is going to be debited here because you're expecting money from them later on. So account receivable, so the account is going to be involved here, just to just to show you the account receivable account, uh, the sales, which is the revenue here, and the sales tax, uh, which is a payable account. Now, this is the only thing that you're going to be in the three columns with the name of the company that you're, you're dealing with and the date that was uh, done. Okay, so this is the section one. Uh, section two later on is going to be now this is going to how it's going to look like at the end by the way okay so you're going to see that the, the reason for it maybe you need to know the reason the reason behind it, behind the sales journal is we could cut down on the number of journals and when we do them in general journal look how how more neat is it so you could see that each transaction has one 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 uh, uh, row uh, in general in general this is the three row kind of transactions. So if you see one, two, three, that means it's going to be so we could we could cut down on space here, and that's all going to be under under sales. So now we know that for example we 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 did ten thousand dollars seven hundred fifty uh, sales. Uh, there's uh, taxes taxes on it for uh, which is tax payable for the sale for the government five hundred fifty five dollars, and I'm expecting money from those people who bought from me eleven thousand three hundred. So which is nice neat way of uh, organizing things. Now, section two it talks about the cash payment journal. The cash payment journal has more, more columns in it. So it has a general column, uh, sales credit, sales tax payable, account receivable, and also the discount. We're, gonna, we're probably ex we're expecting discounts. Uh, and also, uh, not expecting, we, we're giving discounts, by the way. Okay, and then the cash uh, that is, we're going to be receiving, right? So we might give them discounts for the, whoever bought from us. And um, we need to record if they do pay us. So we have to record that. So we have a, a column for that. So the, the one, two, three, four, five, six columns, we're going to be using uh, not all of them. It doesn't have to be all of them, definitely. So I'm going to show you how it's going to look like at the end. I'll show you here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here. That's how it's going to look like at the end. So you can see that uh, uh, in each row, there's some columns going to be used. Uh, we have like here we have two two columns only here three columns here three columns here three columns so it depends on in the transaction that we have and it's going to show a lot of things anyway we talk about it later when we get to it in class okay guys talk to you later bye bye